Hello Gothamites and welcome to the Gotham Knight channel and I uh, hope you're having a wonderful day out there in Gotham and I got my Gotham coffee here and I want to go ahead and uh, let's get to some a uh, little bit of news of what's going on and uh, you know we don't really talk about Robin uh, Dick Grayson the original Robin a lot uh, and of course we know his progression to be Nightwing and a bit of news came from out from uh, Chris McKay uh, who was uh, going to be the director on the Nightwing movie. Now he came out and uh, had some some updates on where we stand on a Nightwing movie and we can discuss like where it fits. So let's go ahead and get into it. So uh, McKay, who was talking to The Real Blend, told The Real Blend, uh, I hope it's still a reality. I hope that we are still that we still get to make the movie. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's not a lot. It's not lost yet. It's obviously something that Warner Brothers and DC have had other priorities. They've had other challenges. Uh, they've had things that needed to do. And of course, we we know that as fans. I mean, the things have happened. And uh, what he continued on to say was, I think that they found their way with uh, their recent successes and the stuff that they are planning on doing now. I think it opens the door for us to still be able to do a Nightwing movie. And now let's let's share why that is possible and how this fits in. OK, so where could Nightwing fit in all this? Well, we know that in DC in 2022, we have all these films releasing the Batman, which is the main one, uh, which we know that's taking uh, place on Earth, too. OK, so we have that one. We have the Flash coming out and the Flash movies coming out, which is going to introduce the whole multiverse uh, uh, on on the the different timelines. And we have Shazam, uh, Black Adam are all supposed to be released. Uh, but here's where the big butt is. HBO Max is going to be streaming two movies in 2022. Batgirl and Blue Beetle. So they will not get a theatrical release, but they will be released on HBO Max. I think, in my opinion, I think Nightwing could fit in there with a a smaller budget, bring it on to uh, into the uh, the slate of films being released on streaming side. Um, I don't know how you feel uh, versus theaters versus streaming. Um, I like both. I'm into I'm I'm into watching movies either at a theater or streaming. Streaming obviously is more convenient, but a character like this, where it, it may not do the big box office numbers, but anybody that you have subscribed to your service, you're showing value of what you put into it. And HBO Max definitely needs to put value there. This could be very big. This could be very big. Uh, not only for the character, but also for the streaming service for HBO Max. And I think it, it, it's it's about time that uh, this gets put onto the slate of knowing where Nightwing is. And for me, this is my opinion, may not be yours. I love when Batman's solo. Um, when I was younger, I, I appreciated the... Uh, the Adam West um, cartoons that would replay in the 80s. Uh, I loved my super friends. I grew up with the super friends and Batman and Robin. When you read the comics more and you explore that, that they're always trying to make Batman by himself and be solo, but they introduce these characters. And I know you introduce characters to further push a storyline, further to give different aspects and uh, different um, scenarios to different situations. But in the end, you're always seeing Batman by himself. So I think for Earth 2 Batman and what they're doing with Robert Patterson, leave that alone. But bring Nightwing in 
to to maybe be in a different world, a different Earth, uh, make it Earth 16, 17, whatever it is. Uh, however, if you're going to continue the Snyderverse, Nightwing could definitely fit in there uh, because we don't know which Robin was killed. Um, I think uh, Zack Snyder, uh, I believe he said it was maybe Jason Todd or it could have been Dick Grayson. That Dick Grayson uh, was the one that, that passed. So um, maybe there's a way to to bring in the, the multiverse of different um, Dick Graysons. And I think that's one where uh, they can definitely, uh, you know, prove to, to be uh, successful in bringing him to the smaller side of the streaming side. So, yeah. So what is your opinion, guys? What, you, what is your take on Nightwing? Do you like Nightwing? Do you care about Nightwing if he gets a movie? Um, share in comments. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, tell your friends about us and see what we're doing here. So um, maybe they like Gotham City. Maybe they're a Metropolis person. So we'll see. But all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. And you guys have a wonderful day. Take care.